Okay, step one, we're gonna take our ingredients and pop it into our uh, mixing bowl. This is cocoa butter, very hard um, at room temperature. You can kind of hear how it clunks. It doesn't even soften in the summertime. It might kind of melt on your hands a little bit, but it actually is pretty hard at room temperature. We also have shea butter. The bulk of it is gonna be shea butter, shea butter because it whips really nicely. The cocoa butter, it doesn't take much to give that chocolate scent to it. So shea butter, cocoa butter, and then our coconut oil. And that's it. That's all you put into the mixing bowl. And we're gonna go take it over to the, uh, the stove to melt it down. Okay, it's in the pot. It's ready to um, melt down. And what I do is, as this melts, it may take, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, I start on, on another project, another recipe, which you can find in the ebook, and get that going on the, at the same time because you have, you can just work the stove, a couple different projects at the same time. Okay, our cocoa butter mixture here is ready to go, and we just need to stir it really well with a stick. I need to tell you that again, stir very well. Um, because once it's set, you don't want any kind of a, you know, a little bit of shea butter over here, a little bit of coconut oil over there. As soon as this is coming to about room temperature, it's going to not stay liquid. It's going to harden a little bit. Then I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for a couple hours. And then we're going to take it out and do the whipped part. Stop it, scrape down the sides, and then get it going. It's when it makes that, that smacking sound, um, kind of like when you lick your lips because it tastes so good. That's a good sign. That's when it's getting there. It's really getting lots of air in it, and it's, um, it's really getting whipped up. So uh, look for that smacking sound. That's looking really nice. It's kind of a creamy uh, beige color. It's not really white. I wouldn't call it white. By the way, deodorized cocoa butter. I haven't tried that. I do this because I like the scent of the chocolate. So if you buy deodorized, you won't have a chocolate scent. And um, I assume it's going to hang. It's going to stand up the same. It's going to be the same kind of a um, consistency in it. But I haven't tried that yet. So so do this if you if you like the cocoa. And if you don't, then I do have my whipped shea butter um, recipes on my site, or my summer ebook has one, so you could still do a, a whipped shea butter, but this is kind of a gifty thing, you know, it's calorie free for your chocolate loving friends, and they'll appreciate it. It feels so good too. So let's do one more whip here, and then I think we're done. Sounds like it's done to me. Looks good. Let's do a skin test with it. Just kind of rub it on your skin and see how it feels. This is not for your hands and feet. I mean, this is not the same as the hard lotion bar. This is for more of the rest of your body mass. And um, by the way, this is great. If you have a pregnant friend, cocoa butter is supposed to be really good for stretch marks. I don't know if you're like me, but in my jam making days, I picked up mason jars left and right whenever I could and made a lot of jam, but um, so I have a lot of jars like that and this works out great for your gifts. So.